The Pan-African Parliament has called on the African Union to do more to resolve the Burundi crisis. More than 450 people have been killed in Burundi since violence broke out a year ago. The crisis began when President Pierre Nkuruziza announced in April 2015 plans to run for a third term of office. The PAP heard presentations from a delegation of members who visited the country as part of a fact-finding mission last year. The Pan-African Parliament wants an African solution to the year-long Burundi conflict. This comes in the wake of a recent police report showing that more than 450 people, including police officers, have died since the unrest erupted a year ago. Burundi officials warned that the ongoing crisis could see a return of the ethnically charged civil war. Now the PAP is calling on all sides in the conflict to put the people of Burundi first. Maybe we should look at that as an African, as African people to see maybe the element of independence prevails in that one and we can build on that. It is true that as politicians we, <clears throat> in one way or the other, we can exploit the laws and interpret the laws. But what is very, very important for us as politicians is to put the lives of the people at, at forefront. Parliamentarians tabled a report from a recent fact-finding mission to the embattled country. They are calling for more intense African mediation to resolve the conflict. We have a EU, but as Pan-African, let's stand together. Where is Ubuntu? The world is in turmoil. And we're not going to allow our people to die just like that. PAP officials have warned against the international criticism of President Pierre Nkurunziza, saying it will only fuel tensions. Dumala Mushaudi, SABC News, Midrand.